Hello all and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and I don't know the part of the song, what the fuck. Hello everybody, um, so I did something really really stupid a second ago. I recorded this whole video and I didn't even click the record button on the video. Like, I mean... I don't know how many times I've forgotten to click the, the record button on the commentary or haven't had my mic plugged in or something like that, but like, I don't think I've ever actually forgot to record the video before, so I just feel like the biggest idiot right now. But I sucked at playing in the last video, I got really frustrated at those freaking soldier guys for some reason. So hopefully I could do a little, little, maybe like an iota better this time. Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But how's everybody doing? It is January 2nd, 2014, 14, 15, I guess it's 2015 now, so Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everyone's New Year's Eve slash day was great. Uh, my New Year's Eve was sort of interesting because I wasn't gonna do anything because my buddy was puking his guts out, and we were supposed to go out and, like, just go to a bar and hang out or something like that, but... Uh, I ended up going out with my other friends instead, and then they dragged me to the gay club, which I really don't like going to, for obvious reasons, probably because I'm straight, and, uh, I got hit on a lot, like, it was, it was kind of obnoxious how much I got hit on, there were definitely, like, at least five or six guys that were trying to hit, like, pick me up, and I saw a drag show, which was kind of interesting, I talked about that in a vlog, so I don't know if I want to talk about that again, I guess I could, uh, like, basically a drag show, if you don't know, is, like, dudes dress up as women, and then, like, dance for money. And you will never see anyone work harder for five dollars in your entire life. That is mildly ridiculous, but, like, there was this dude while I was at the drag show saying, like, You ever been to one of these things before? I'm like, no, I've never been to one of these things before. And he was trying to hit on me, and he was trying to hook me up with my buddy, and, like, hook me up with him. And he, it was hilarious, because he was, like, this giant, like, bushy-bearded, like, fucking, like, the biggest guy I've ever seen. Um, and he was trying to, like, hit on me, basically. And it was, it was funny, because he had the most stereotypical gay voice. Like, he's like, hi, boy, how are you? How are you doing? And it was, like, really high. It sounded, like, really unfitting. We got a piece of heart there. That's like the easiest piece of heart in the game to get. Be if, unless you miss it, in which case it's kind of a pain in the ass because you go down this waterfall and you're like, crap, I missed the piece of heart. But yeah, we got the Zorus flippers. We can swim now. I guess I probably should have noted something about that instead of talking about this giant gay bear dude. And if anybody, if you ever hear anybody talking about like a, a bear uh, as, a, as a reference of like a gay person, that's sort of what I'm talking about. Is like a giant burly dude that like tries to pick up like this tiny little guy like me. Oh, what will you throw in? I would throw in my magical boomerang into this pond because I don't need it. I don't need you. Go away, you boomerang. I don't like you anymore. Did you drop this? Yes, I did. I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. See, why couldn't they design all the fairies like this one? Why did they have to make them look like crazy hookers? Shit, I didn't want to do that. Well, first time I've done that in the LP. It made it pretty obvious I'm playing this on a Wii U. Um, why couldn't they design all the fairies like that? Because that's like the only fairy design that I don't hate in a Zelda game. Like, the ones in uh, Wind Waker are kind of creepy because they sort of seem albino and I don't know. Albino people kind of creep me out because they have like clear skin. It's like really weird. We get a better shield also. And if you look at the boomerang, it goes like, woo, it sparkles and it's awesome. Um, but yeah, and like the ones in Ocarina of Time slash Majora's Mask, like because they have the same fairy design, um, they are like creepy as fuck. They, they definitely look like someone you would see at a drag show. And, uh, the ones in Twilight Princess, I can't really remember because it's been so long since I've actually played far enough in Twilight Princess to see a fairy. I know, sort of instead of the fairy fountains, they have, like, the guardian spirits, which I kind of found to be a little bit dumb. But anyways, King Zora has given us passage through his waterways, and I think there was one up here that we could have taken. I'm not entirely sure. No, maybe not. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know, but there's one that warps you, like, straight to Lake Hylia. And in the failed recording I had... Failed recording, I use that loosely. Failed as in, like, I forgot to click the record button. I love how I just checked to see if I was recording just then. Um, I got to this warp that warped me, like, directly to Lake Hylia. Maybe this is it. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. No, this isn't it. Okay, we're down in, like, section 8. I should probably talk about the map for a second here. Because, like... 
you see the map here. You can grid it off into like a tic-tac-toe board, and I'll do that in like paint or something like that. Just do like a shitty job. And like section one is the Lost Woods where you get the Master Sword. Section two is Death Mountain. Three is Lake Hylia, which, which, not Lake Hylia. The Zora's uh, Waterfall, which where uh, which was where we just were. Uh, four is Kakariko. Five is the castle and your house, I guess, sort of. Um, six is the Eastern Palace. Seven is the Desert Palace. Eight is where we are now in that little swamp area. And nine is Lake Hylia. We want to go to Lake Hylia now, which is good because we're relatively close to it. I don't know. We're not, like, super close, but we're also not, like, super far. We're also not, like, super bad or, like, McLovin or anything like that. So that's, that's good. Those crab things do two hearts of damage, by the way. If you get hit by one of those, that sucks. Because, like, they, they just do a fuck ton of damage. And if you were playing, like, hero mode, which there isn't one in this game, by the way, um, you would take eight hearts of damage. Because I know Link Between Worlds has this hero mode thing that that takes so much goddamn damage. It's it's ridiculous. Um, there's also something that I talked about in the failed recording and tried to do and just couldn't do. It was kind of weird because I got, like, this weird glitch going on with it. Because um, I, I got to, like, swim in air. Except I didn't have the flippers, so I just sort of like drown. What the fuck are you doing? What is this thing doing on the side of the screen? It's like stuck in a pattern. Those dudes' movements are like entirely RNG, which is kind of weird. But like, you can swim uh, without the flippers by... Uh, if, if you jump in the water and on the same frame you change screens... Like, that'll let you have fake flippers and you can swim for the next screen. And speedrunners use that to warp all over the world. Uh, it's, it's a nice little technique. Also, at this point in the game, a speedrunner would be, like, done, I think, five dungeons in the game at this point. I'm not entirely sure, but it would be somewhere in that neighborhood. Bam, I got past without hitting the cock man. That's, like, in German, legit what those guys are called. It's, it's kind of weird, actually. But yeah, I'm going to see if I can maybe do, like, the glitch that I was doing before where I got to, like, swim in air. I'm not entirely sure what's the deal with that. Anyways, we got bombs. Let's use a bomb. Bomb the living shit out of this wall. Because I need fairies. I already know what's in all these holes. There's fairies in this one. There's, like, 20 rupees if you uh, lift up the rock. And there's, like, a dude sitting in, in there that tells you, you can make money from killing monsters. It's like, thanks for the advice, Big Ben. I don't know why he'd be called Big Ben or something like that. I'm going to just rant about this failed recording that I had. And that, that, that just pisses me off when that happens. You can earn a lot of rupees by defeating enemies. It's my secret to success. Yes, we know. We know that's your secret. And your secret kind of sucks. My phone just went nuts there. Nobody... Holy shit! You see that? I just took off four hearts of... Six hearts of health from that one dude. Because he kept jumping on top of me. And I just suck at this game too much to not get hit by fucking everything. I, gonna, I think I'm gonna go back and see if I can grab another fairy or something like that so I don't have another... So, so I don't have a soft death. I didn't have a death on screen yet. I like to call, like, a death when you have a fairy a soft death because realistically that's that's really what it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of odd. There we go. Yay, fairy, heal me. Calgon, take me away. Please, Calgon. Please. That would be so pleasurable. Ow. My feelings. Um, let's, let's see. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm actually just gonna meet you at Kakariko Village because it's kind of a long trek. And, uh, it's the last thing that we have to collect, so, yeah. I'll be one sec. Well, I would have successfully done the fake flippers thing there because... I actually, on the same frame as hitting the water, changed screens, which was kind of cool, actually. I've never done that before. And there's, like, a little bit of a weird screen transition where Link is, like, a little bit higher out of the water than he normally would be. That's how you can tell that you've got the fake flippers thing. And wow, don't jump right off the ledge, Link. Uh, but yeah, that, this is where you end up if you do the fake, if you take that warp that I was talking about earlier. Again, I'm just going to meet you at Kakariko Village, though, because it's kind of a pain in the ass trek. Okay, well, I said I'd meet you at Kakariko, but we're actually going up here, so yeah. Uh, I think this is the area we're going to. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you can get a heart piece right there. No, maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. I know there's, like, one of those, like, pattern things, like, like the, the, the area with, like, five holes you can bump into and get a piece of heart. 
I, I know it's not here. Actually, right here is where we want to go. That was actually pretty convenient, because I always get lost in these woods, in the lost woods, kind of ironically. This is actually the first piece of heart that you can get in the game, because all you need is the sword. You don't really need anything else. And it's actually closer to, to the sanctuary than Kakariko, so yeah. We get another heart container that leaves us with eight hearts, which is very nice. I don't care about what that thief dude has to say, so I'm not going to talk to him. Uh, we come over here, we get a secret fungus! Yay, mushroom that smells like sweet, rotten fruit. Great. That, that, that smells absolutely fantastic. I really, I really just want to eat that, like, right now. That would be, like, my favorite pastime that would ever happen in my entire life. Uh, but yeah, we're... I, I realize that it probably would have been the most convenient to do this first as opposed to the last item getting thing that I wanted to do, but whatever. Uh, doesn't really matter that much because stuff. Oh yeah, I think this is where the heart piece is. Well, I'm getting an extra heart piece that I didn't get in the original recording. There we go. Heart piece number nine. I originally didn't plan on making those bio things, by the way, but the idea came to me after I actually rendered the second part of doing the, that with uh, the bottle thing. Um, so yeah, I kind of thought it was a decent idea. I don't know if people actually like it, or like the layout's kind of weird. I don't know, I kind of felt like the layout was a bit weird. Wow, that's actually kind of a shortcut. That's that's cool, I guess. That's that's a thing that has happened. Let's just let's just leave it at that. It's a thing that's happened. We talk to this witch over here. The smell of rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. <laughs> okay, creepy lady, just don't kill me. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. <laughs> so you come, leave the screen. And basically come back, and that's straight up all you have to do, which is kind of weird. I don't I don't really know why they make you leave and then come back. You come into her house here, and you get a secret magic powder with a pink ribbon. I never noticed that it had a pink ribbon before. We can do stuff with that later uh, that doubles our magic, um, which took me forever to figure out. But I'm going to leave that for later because we actually can't do that right now because we don't have a certain item that we need. I actually think I'll get the third bottle right now if I can. I'm pretty sure I can. Because um, I think you just have to jump off. Do you have to... I don't... No, you can't get down there. But there's a certain bridge that you go under. And... Dude! What the fuck? Stop shooting me! You assholes. Seriously. Actually, I think it's down here that you can jump. Uh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to check my map here real quick. Yeah, because it's uh, under that bridge south of where we are. Um... I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's the bridge under uh, the castle, but I know it's a gray bridge. There's a surprising amount of detail in this map. It's actually pretty nice. Because a lot of games will give you a map, and it'll be like, like, go here. And that's basically about it. Like, I, I can think of, like, GTA is, like, a really bad series for that. Because they give you, like, almost no instruction on your maps. They'll give you, like, this is a building. Don't don't go here. Dude, dude, fuck off. Seriously. Like, I like how you walk faster than the soldiers, but I can imagine playing, like, Parallel Worlds would be a pain in the ass. Because, if you don't know, Parallel Worlds is a Zelda hack of this game, and it's basically, like, a hard link to the past. And the soldiers walk, I think it's exactly the same speed as you. So if one gets on top of you, you're basically fucked. So it's just gonna, like, kill you by hitting you over and over and over again. But yeah, you see this little triangle landing. I think there's like a warp there or something like that that you can use. This this crazy dude has like the craziest sprite I've ever seen. Talk to him and see what he has to say. Yo, Kevdog, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. You get the third bottle in the game. The only one you can get before beating the like third palace, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end it there. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Legend of Us. I don't know why I've been doing this voice in like a lot of outros and intros, but whatever. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, we are gonna go to Death Mountain and go and get the third spiritual stone, the spiritual stone of wisdom, I think. I don't know, because the blue one was power, so I just sort of assumed the red one was wisdom. Anyways, I will see you guys then. Goodbye, and have a wonderful tomorrow.